everybody. So in today's video, we'll learn about Kubernetes. First of all, we'll learn what is Kubernetes, then we'll go to its architecture and learn that how the Kubernetes architecture work and lastly we will learn how to set up kubernetes on ac2 instance on our aws cloud so let's start so let's start with our very first question which is what is kubernetes kubernetes is an open source container orchestration tool which is developed for automating our software deployment scaling and management Kubernetes is created by google and now is projected by cloud native computing foundation so as I told that Kubernetes is an open source container orchestration tool. So first question which comes to our mind is what is open source? Open source is a code which is publicly accessible to everybody. Anybody can see it, modify it, distribute it. The author of the source code will make the code publicly accessible so anybody can alter it or change it or distribute the code after making some changes right so this is referred as a open source so after seeing what is open source next part is what is container orchestration first of all container means a docker container right in a docker container let's assume that an application is running and different applications are running in different containers so they need to communicate with each other, right? So let's take an example that we have one container for our application front end, second container for our application back end, and third container for our database. So we need to manage these three containers together. And this management of containers is done by Kubernetes. You will say that management is also done by Docker Swarm and Docker Compose why we use kubernetes so let's see that why should we use kubernetes so let's start with why we should use kubernetes to keep our application production ready there should be less amount of failure and the downtime of the application should be also less in further to it the uh, backup and restore of the application should be also maintained and one most important thing for which the kubernetes is famous is microservices so there are two types of architecture monolithic and microservices so monolithic architecture means there is one big application and everything is going on in it and microservices means there are a part of applications and they are combined to make one big application so this part of application are managed by kubernetes and it is called container orchestration so this is the kubernetes architecture and kubernetes actually manages our whole application so to manage our whole application we need manager and there are two main important parts of kubernetes architecture which is master node and slave node or a worker node so kubernetes architecture works on master slave architecture so we have one server for master and in master server there are different configuration files, secret file, etcd and scheduling is going on and on other server which is called as worker node or slave node in that node our application is running in the container. So two most important things which you have to learn in this architecture is API server and kubelet. So API server is in our master node and kubelet is in our worker node. So there are many features which are provided to the master node so that they can manage all the worker nodes. So most important feature which is provided to the master node is API server. API stands for application programmable interface and this interface manages all the worker nodes. So to make the master node work or run we have a tool which is kubectl so kubectl is a tool which manages all the worker nodes and in a particular worker node we have a tool which is called kubelet that manages the whole worker nodes so in worker nodes we have kubelet tool and in master node we have kubectl you would be having questions like what is controller what is etcd what is scheduler and what is api server so api server is a endpoint to our kubernetes cluster so now what is a cluster cluster is a group 
of servers in our kubernetes architecture we have a master node which is treated as one server or which is called as one server we have second worker node which is called as second server and then we can have many worker nodes and each worker node is treated as different server so combining this all servers makes a cluster so group of all the servers is called cluster so in cluster there are many internal communication between the containers and this internal communications are referred as cni network cni network is a virtual network layer in which the master and worker nodes communicate internally so there is some confusion between what is node and pod so what is the difference between node and pod so node is a server in which our workers are there and our containers actually run and pod is the smallest unit of kubernetes in in which our actual application runs so as we say that in a pod our actual application runs so there can be group of pods running under single node so now let's set up our kubernetes so first of all we have two different servers here first one is master server and second is worker server so if you want to use kubernetes locally then you need to install minikube for that minikube helps you to work with kubernetes into your local system so to install minikube you need to go to your browser and go to the minikube official site and download minikube from there so type minikube in your browser and you will get the first link here which is minikube start click on it and first of all you will get that what all you need to install minikube in your system right next go down and select your operating system if you are a windows user go here and copy all the commands and paste it and minikube will be installed for you if you are a mac user then go on this button copy the command and download minikube from there and last is linux if you are a linux user you can choose this button and copy the command and install minikube so rather than operating system they also provide different architectures release types installer type for all the different operating systems which are available so here we are not going to download minikube in our local system as we are going to use ec2 instance of our aws cloud so we will not install it locally we will create a ec2 instance and we will install minikube on our ubuntu machine so let's go and create first of all our ec2 instance so let's go to the ec2 service and create our instance on which we will set up our kubernetes go to launch instance and give your instance a name we will give your kubernetes right next is to select our operating system so we'll select our operating system as ubuntu as we want to ubuntu instance so next is we have to choose our instance types so as we are on a free tier account we are eligible for only one cpu but to set up kubernetes we need two cpus here of course you will be built but if you terminate your instance you will be built less so we have to choose e2 medium which gives gives us two cpus right so after selecting the instance type we will go to the key pair part you can create a new key pair part when you create a new key pair the key will be downloaded uh, in your system so save it at a proper place i already have created a key pair so i'll choose my key pair right which i have created and everything else would be by default right security group and all now we'll we'll click on launch instance to create our instance it will take some time to launch the instance right so let's wait till the instance uh, is in running mode at this moment it would be in a pending mode right so let's wait for it let's refresh once okay so it is initializing so let's wait so our instance is in running mode now so let's connect with it right first of all let's open git bash and let's go to the path where our m file is located download format in our kubernetes folder so 
So this is our PEM file, right? Kubernetes dot PEM. We'll connect our instance here. Go to the connect part. Go to the SSH client and copy the SSH link which is provided here. Go to the good dash and paste the link here. Let's wait. It will take some time. Yes. Okay, so we are in our EC2 instance now. That's clear first of all. Now, first step is to install Minikube here. So we'll go to our browser and copy the link which I had shown earlier. So for our part, is a, it is a Linux operating system, right? So we'll go for Linux. We'll copy the command which it gives you. Right, we'll copy this command and paste here for me you will get download. Okay. Okay, so our mini cube is installed, right? So to check that mini cube is installed or not, we can type mini cube and the command would be listed, right? All the commands of minikube would be listed here so let's start the minikube first let's clear the screen first and fire the command minikube start okay so we are having an error here that it says that no possible driver was detected okay now understand that minikube is a tool and to make minikube run you need a driver the driver can be Docker or any other virtual machine you want. But in our case, we will use Docker. Right? So we have to specify the driver in the command. Right? Minikube start hyphen hyphen driver is equal to Docker. Right? Minikube start hyphen hyphen driver and Docker. Okay. So your it is saying that you don't have docker right we need to first of all install docker and then we can run our minikube so to install docker let's go to our browser and search for install docker so you will get the first link here which is install docker engine on ubuntu click there and copy and paste the command which it gives Okay, so first we have to update, right? And all notifications and all, right? So first of all, we'll do that. Let's wait, it gets completed. Okay, so next command is this one right to call will apply docker's official pg key copy the command and paste it right so next is use the following command to set up the repository copy the command and paste it let's clear the screen Next is update, right? Let's update again. It will take some time to get update. Okay, so it has finished. So lastly, we will install Docker Engine Container D and Docker Compose. So copy the link and paste it in the terminal. Wait. Okay. Flask. Yes. Continue and let's wait till it's get installed. The Docker is installed successfully. Now we will clear the screen and run our command, which is minikube start. Iphone iPhone driver is equals to Docker. Right. So here it is saying that Docker is not having permission, right? 
so we have to give permission to docker we will copy the command and we will paste the command the command is already given here in the suggestion so no need to worry we will copy this command and paste it and apply and give the permission and now again we will give our command which is minikube start right let's type loop start hyphen hyphen driver is equal to docker okay so our kubernetes is getting download downloaded right so let's wait till it gets download it will take some time to get download let's wait so now we are done with the kubernetes setup and now we'll install a major tool of kubernetes which is kubectl Let in, let's install it with sudo nap install cube ctl hyphen hyphen classic right okay so let's okay so it is installed okay so everything is installed for us now kubernetes cube ctl is installed so now we will check our status of control panel with the cube ctl command which is cube ctl get co hyphen a right so here everything is ready for us we had learned code dns etcd uh, api server controller cube proxy scheduler in our architecture part right so this is all things are ready for us now and we can use it so in today's video we learned what is kubernetes why do we use kubernetes what is the architecture of kubernetes how the architecture works and lastly we learned that how to set up Kubernetes on our EC2 instance on AWS cloud. So that's it for the day. Thank you and have a pleasant day ahead.